This is Eternity Forge Game Development Vlog number 2. Going to be talking about 2D scrolling and camera implementation. Most 2D games tend to put the player in the center of the screen, either on the X axis or the Y axis or both. This is fairly easy to achieve. All you have to do is offset everything in your game by the offset of the player in regards to the center of the screen so for example if you have your game and it's running at a resolution of 800 by 600 the X center is going to be 400 so if the player is at a position of 300 in terms of the X value uh, you're going to want to offset the world by uh, positive 100 to go the other way and this can easily be accomplished by keeping track of the player offset in regards to the center of the screen and using that to draw everything in your game. So, I also wanted to implement some kind of camera. Lots of games have cameras that act independently of the player movement. In this case, I wanted to bound the camera to the player so that the player is always on the screen some games, a lot of RPGs for example, let you move all around the map. And that's uh that's pretty good for like real time strategy games, things like that, but I don't plan on implementing a fog of war. I'm just gonna limit the view to whatever resolution person happens to be playing at. So you now have two ways that the camera can be controlled in your game, either by the player's movement or by someone using the mouse cursor. You just have to make sure that you program it so those two things don't interfere with each other. Uh, if you don't program games properly, weird things can happen. As the game starts to get more and more complicated with more variables and more things going on at once, the probability of things going wrong starts to shoot way up. So just remember to go through stuff and uh, debug things the best you can.